There have been quite a few videos about the Free Gorges Dam over recent days, and yet for the last time in 2023, hopefully I'll just be covering the Free Gorges Dam and what's been happening or what the media is saying, and your post would be fantastic in the comment section below. The Free Gorges Dam was started to be constructed found about um, 1994 and it was near enough completed at the beginning of the century and certain bits moved on forward with it, like the operational bit and then the ship um, locks followed by the ship's elevator. There are many obviously engineers uh, who built this, who had many feasibility studies with this as well, um, not just from China, national safety standards, which are not the highest in the world. And some engineers uh, did come from different countries, like from Canada, for example, said that the steel rebarring and the concrete is subpar. They just dismissed this. This is one of the engineers here, Mr. or Dr. Wang. He is living in Germany. Um, we're going to go through a basic timeline here. At the very beginning, yeah, 40 cracks appeared in the concrete on the dam surface upstream of the spillway. That was the first alert there. Then it moved on telling you more things about it with widths ranging from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 millimetres, a length of 25 to 30 metres and depths of 1 to 2 metres. Now, the Chinese government did deny all these facts and saying, yeah, it's going to have some cracks, it's normal, it's OK. But you look at these numbers here, 25 to 30 metres with a surface crack. And that crack goes to 1 or 2 metres long. Now, let's have a look at all the dimensions of the actual dam, and then we can actually put this into more perspective. The Free Gorges Dam is 181 metres tall and 2,335 metres long. The Free Gorges Dam Reservoir extends for 600 kilometres along the Yangtze River upstream of the dam. The full capacity if the reservoir surface reaches over 114 square metres there. So they are. So when we go back to these cracks here, look at this: twenty-five to thirty meters. Whew. How tall is your house? How long is your car? Multiply it, and then you'll be shocked how long these are. Again, things from the government, from the Free Gorges Management Corporation, denied it wasn't a serious problem. This one, 38 cracks were found downstream of the surface. And with these, these cracks had widths of 0.051 to 0, sorry, point, I'll say that again, 0 0.51 to 0 0.99 millimeters, which is like one centimeter, which is like a tiny bit of an inch. But look at this, a total length of these cracks is nine. 695.2 meters. Now, notice this word total, they're not individual ones, the longest one, because that would be like <laughs> colossal. That would be like half of the dam going that way. And the general depth not exceeding three meters, which is a long way. Imagine that you're 1.5 meters tall, double it. And that's how long these cracks are on a dam that has got so much water pushing against it, so much pressure. From the engineers, the Chinese engineers who built this, cracking in large volumes is inevitable. A problem in dam construction, given that the Free Gorges Dam is the world's largest concrete dam, experience cracks during continuous high strength construction is unavoidable. When it's that big, like you could say the Empire State Building in its time, I would say it's sort of like it's going to happen. So what are you going to do about it? Is there anything you can do about it? Again, the steel barring, they all say is substandard. The concrete is substandard. And again, for the largest dam that's holding 600 kilometers of water against a gravity dam, 
In other words, just gravity is holding it down. There's no bolts and screws at either end of it or underneath it. It's just plonked there. It's sort of worrying. Now, the whole thing is the dam is still there. It's been there since, um, well, since the construction and been operational for well over a decade, even more than that. And people will say, let me know when it collapses. Like any building in the world, it will collapse, maybe in 50 years, maybe in 100 years, maybe in 1000 years. But it will eventually and hopefully before then it will be dismantled. We can continue with this. This finding suggests a level of construction quality lower than of even substandard projects. But again, I repeat, it is still standing. So this is a fight, you can say, between some of the construction engineers who obviously left the project, some of the construction engineers who are still with the Free Gorges Dam project. It's against the West versus the uh, Chinese media to say everything is fine. Now, you can say it is perfectly fine at the moment. And in 2020, we did have a serious situation with the water uh, over 170 metres, closer to the 180 metre mark, and even reports that water was lapping over the actual top of the dam. But guess what? I'm going to say it again, it's still standing and it survived. What is going to happen next year in 2024? Who knows? But the more pressure on the actual dam, in basic physics, you can say, and these cracks are still there and hopefully being repaired and looked after on a daily basis and monitored, it, one day something horrible is going to happen. And we covered this before, that if it does eventually give way, whether it is through a Taiwanese impact of a missile or just wear and tear, then, well, let's not go into that. This is the whole thing. I've been covering this dam for since June 2020, you could say near enough the start of COVID, and it does um, pop its weary head up. There is no information coming out of the Free Gorge Dam Corporation apart from the positive things, which is really normal in China. Um, they only do positive and basically don't inform about the negative. The webcam is not there. There's very little information coming out from the statistics of it. And maybe you could say this is a cover up. I see so many different stories about the dam. I see so many uh, videos that they're saying it dam has collapsed again when it's still there. You can go to satellite images and you can see Free Gordia down there from Senatal Hub, for example, which I cover or maybe I have a look at maybe once or twice a month. If you like the content of this video, please do share it with your friends and please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and please do check your subscription. And if you feel the need to support my work, all the links are in the description below via Super Thanks, via becoming a member or my Patreon account. I will say it now. Um, I will wish everyone a happy 2024. And let's hope it's a more peaceful one than we've had in 2023 related to the situation in the Middle East and also Russia and the Ukraine. Happy New Year. Everyone, be good, be well. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.